many could argue, as they did in that House uh, committee meeting, the staff committee meeting, sorry, that there's a lot to be desired in terms of a lot of things, including the sergeant at arms general conduct. But we believe that that should be addressed as a separate issue from the issue of him uh, dealing with the journalists or interacting with the journalists in the manner in which he did. And it is for that reason that we decided that the offense, which we all agreed uh, reflected poorly on the National Assembly, uh, as you've heard me say, and we spoke to him very sternly. In fact, he was called in in front of the committee where uh, it was mostly the members of the government side who spoke very sternly to him to say, listen, this cannot be repeated. And in fact, we dealt with the other areas of concern that we thought were crucial to the overall security, especially in light of the, of the situations that have been occurring lately, uh, like the, uh, the Senate inquiry. So uh, we simply believed that this uh, the, the particular incident, and you know that the, the, the journalists who were involved, in fact, have said that they were not going to press charges. So if they were the ones offended, they are not going to press charges. He was not, uh, he was not in the House of Representatives uh, doing his duties as Sergeant at Arms, uh, although we believe it reflected uh, on all of us in the National Assembly. Uh, we thought that a reprimand and the instruction for him to uh, make good his relationship with the people who he offended uh, was sufficient. And there was a stern warning to him as well that uh, if it continued, if in fact it repeated uh, like that, that we would then not hesitate to move for his dismissal.